This today's story is It Wasn't My Fault by Helen Lester, illustrated by Lynn, Lynn Munsinger. Things did not always go well for Murdley Gertson. He couldn't control the toothpaste. He fell into waste baskets and he dropped only valuable vases. Whatever happened, it was usually his fault. One day he went for a walk in his one too big new shoe. He had stepped out of the other one and he couldn't remember where. Before long, someone laid an egg on Murdley Gertson's head. He looked at a nearby bird. Did you lay an egg on my head? He asked. I did, confessed the bird, but it wasn't my fault. A horrible aardvark screamed and scared me. So Murdley Gertson and the bird went to see the aardvark. Did you scream and scare the bird into laying an egg on Murdley Gertson's head? They asked. I did, confessed the aardvark, but it wasn't my fault. A nasty pygmy hitto, hippo stepped on my tail, and a scream just popped out. Together they went to find the pygmy hippo. Did you step on the aardvark's tail, making him scream and scare the bird into laying an egg on Murdley Gertson's head? They asked. I did, confessed the pygmy hippo, but it wasn't my fault. I did it by accident when I was getting out of the way of a hopping shoe with long ears. Uh, what? They all asked. Just then, along came a hopping shoe with long ears. With a pull and a tug, they soon found that the ears were attached to a rabbit. It wasn't my fault, explained the rabbit. I was hopping along when I landed in that shoe and became stuck. The shoe looked very much like the new too big shoe Murdley had stepped out of some time ago. In fact, it was, Murdley thought. The rabbit became stuck in my shoe and frightened the pygmy hippo who stepped on the aardvark's tail. The aardvark screamed and scared the bird into laying an egg on my head. Then I suppose it was my fault, Murdley Gertson said very sadly. Two tears splashed on his new two big shoes. There, there, said the pygmy hippo. The rabbit, the bird, and the aardvark, don't cry. It was my fault, said the bird. It was my fault, said the archer. It was my fault, said the pygmy hippo. I think it was the shoe, said the rabbit. Let's go back to your house and do something about that egg. They all went into the kitchen. The aardvark turned Murdley Gertson upside down and the egg plopped into a pan. The rabbit ground the pepper. The pygmy hippo added a pinch of salt. The bird ran around and around in the pan, doing a very fine job of scrambling. Murdley Gertson enjoyed every bite of his scrambled eggs. Murdley thanked his friends. He went to the door to let them out, and it wasn't his fault. And that was, it 